Hi everyone, it's Erin Reed for Coon and Quilt, and today I'm going to bring you some fun ideas, five, for how to make some fun swaps for some Girl Scout or just summer camp swaps. Swaps are basically a fun little thing that you can exchange between the girls, and we're going to make these out of felt and also some fun dyes. So this is a great way to get some extra use out of those dyes. All you need in addition to that is a little bit of glue, a button, some thread, and a needle your pins and a little bit of yarn. So let's get started on the first one. For the first one, all you need is a little bit of a green felt. We're using pirate green in the corduroy. I just love this texture. And you are gonna cut a section that is a rectangle. Super easy. You need, and I'm using my mat down here as my guide, about an inch, inch and a half, maybe up to two inches wide, and then anywhere between four to six inches in length. Super simple little rectangle. All the themes for all of these particular swaps are to deal with summer and with camping, things that you do in the summer. This stage, all you're gonna do is you're gonna roll up your rectangle, just like this, and it becomes a little bed roll. Take one piece of yarn, roll it up at the top, and tie a simple little knot. Your yarn is about four inches in length, four to five inches in length. Two knots makes it look really good. If you've got a little bit of extra yarn, that's good. You can easily chop off the ends. Now you can come in. If you're pre-doing this for all the girls, you know exactly the width of the yarn. You can pre-measure all of those lengths ahead of time. So now you have your little sleeping bag rolled up. The last thing you need is just a little clip up here at the top and you have your first cute little swap. Super simple. For the second swap we're going to make a rolled flower. For this I'm using a corduroy in red. First stage you want to do is you want to find just a corner and you're going to draw a spiral. Super simple spiral. Just spiral it out. You can just do it in pen. It works fine. You don't want to make this too large because you want your flower to be nice and small. Start with the outside of your spiral and start cutting it out. Once you have your spiral cut out, go ahead and trim off the excess to make it look like it's a true spiral. Just trim off those little edges that don't make sense. And leaving one corner there is absolutely fine. If you don't want to do this and have the girls draw or you personally draw and cut out, you could also use a spiral die in your die cut machine. And I'll show you how die cuts work here in a minute on one of our next swaps. You are going to start on the outside and all you do is you start rolling. You just roll the felt into itself and you just keep spiraling it around. From here, this is where a good glue would work. The beacon felt glue is great for the kids. They put a little dab in there, add some more on the outside, and all they need to do is keep spiraling it around, adding a little bit more glue. Keep spiraling our flower until you get all the way to the base where you have a nice little nub, and that's where you rest your flower. It just sits right on top of that. At this point, you just kind of squish your flower down, make sure everything is set. All you need now is your little clip. If you want to let this dry and harden up first, you're more than welcome to. And you can run your clip right through the back side of this. So that way the flower sticks out and the girls are ready to wear it so it doesn't hang down funny. But really, they can put the clip wherever they like. So as it's resting on the shirt, it can look just like that. That is our swap number two. Swap number three is creating a layered flower with a cute little button and some thread. As you can see, the fun little button's like a little daisy. So I've cut out two flowers. You could freehand these flowers if you would like to. And the felt I'm working with is a white corduroy. Cut off a section that will fit. Whenever I die cut felt, I always put a little bit of extra felt in my die cut just as a shim to give it a little bit of an extra space to cut. Just a little bit of an extra something in there. If you've got a rubber mat or something that you would like to use, you're more than welcome to do that and just run it through. So I'm just taking a little bit of some yellow thread 
I'm going to place my two flowers with the corduroy side up, a little off-centered from each other, and placing my button right here in the center. Starting from the back side, and I'm actually sew the button on. This is a great way to learn how to teach sewing to anybody. Once your button's been sewed on, tie it off in the back, knot it up. any excess you have and then your little clip actually can go right through where you just sewed all of your threads and therefore your swap will actually look like it is a little daisy sitting on the front of your uniform when you swap it. This next swap is using a set of dies that make it look like it's a fun set of flip-flops. Again, all of these you could also freehand if you wish and cut out by hand. The dies make it so much easier and faster. For this one, we're going to use two different colors of felt. We have the minty in the standard Eco5 felt, and we have yellow in the corduroy felt. Cut out a couple little sections of each, enough to fit your little pieces on. This is the top part of the flip-flop, and then there's the bottom part. First stages, you want to put a little bit of glue down right where the flip-flop is going to touch the top of the strap, so the bottom of the shoe to the top of the shoe. Just glue those in place. And then to make this one continuous piece that is a swap, put a little bit of glue on the foot of one of the flip-flops. and layer the other flip-flop on top of that. Your clip will then just go up here at the top and come right through here. And there's our next little swap done. Our next swap is a cute pair of sunglasses that are also a die. Again, you could freehand this as well, but the die just makes it super easy. We have candy pink and corduroy, and we have baby pink and the classic Eco5 felt. I'm going to go ahead and cut these up and speed through that. When you cut the sunglasses out, you do want to do one of each color. And as you can see here, I've already added some glue to kind of help hold everything in place. When you cut them, the sunglasses, the eyepiece comes out. So we need to secure them so it looks like a pair of sunglasses. So all you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of some felt. I'm just trimming off the ends here that got a little frayed. And you are going to apply glue along the edge of the strip. This is like the sunglass earpieces. Place them going across, and it's therefore holding some of the eyeglasses in place. The same thing for the other side. Secure the glue going all the way down. The glue dries clear, so don't worry about if the glue is being seen at this point. And cross over. And then also just to secure it, add a little bit of glue right where the eyeglasses, just to give it a little more secure space between where the felt is of the eyepiece and also of the frame. And then leave that upside down to dry. When you felt like your sunglasses are dry, all you have to do is poke your little swap clip right through the corner and you have your cute little swap. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out our five fun summer swaps that you can use for camping and for Girl Scouts and all kinds of other fun kid crafts from sunglasses to daisies to flip flops to sleeping bags and to a fun little flower, a rosette flower. Thank you so much. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.